Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, it's a beautiful modern cake with a marble effect made with buttercream and also a new technique that's trending right now with wafer paper. If you guys want to see how I made this beautiful cake, we'll keep on watching.
So this cake was a seven inch cake. Basically what I did is that I did my crumb coat, my second coat, and I used a white buttercream. And in between, I did uh, five to 10 minutes in the freezer. And when everything was nicely um, nice and crisp, what I did is that I simply used a little bit of blue buttercream. I tinted my buttercream blue. And then I just, um, place it here and there on my cake and then with my spatula I just removed whatever I wanted. I kind of wanted like a smooth effect. I wanted the blue to blend in with the white. So you just take your, your spatula and you go around gently and you get that perfect um, look. So that was for that super easy. So now for the side where everybody wants to know that technique. By the way, this technique is from Sugar Sugar Cake School. Go and follow her, she's amazing. She gives cake classes and very modernized cake classes. And I will link her in my video down below, but like super, super nice stuff she has. So go ahead and look at that. So basically, um, what you do is that you take a wafer paper and what I did is just I divided it in two um, so like because I wanted to do numerous colors and for me it was easier to just do different bowls um, so I just ripped off my wa wafer in, in two and then cut little 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 tiny little pieces put place it in a bowl and added five tablespoons to t six tablespoons of water and then you just mix so Plain and simple, just leave it there for about five minutes so that the wafer paper really um, takes the water and everything is like nicely soaked. And then you're going to use a, a frying pan. Make sure that your frying pan, because it doesn't work with all the frying pans, so make sure that the frying pan is a non-stick one. You don't have to put anything on there, just a non-stick on a medium high. And then you place a spoon or two or whatever of, uh, depending on the, the size that you want. I did, I think I did like two tablespoons at a time. And my pan was smaller anyway of the mix that you created and then you just place it inside spread it a little bit and then you wait and then you're gonna see the sides are gonna start to dry once that's dry then the middle part is going to dry and then you'll end up with a something like this so super super cool um i found that at the beginning uh when you get it out like it really really dries and then like it's like kind of crispy so if you leave it on the counter for um like one hour or so it will be more malleable and then you can play with it you can rip it no problem you can fold it no problem but just be a little bit gentle with it um but it doesn't really break I mean, it will break if you like really, but see, it's like, it still stays. So it's a really, really cool effect and you get all these like little holes. And then to place it on the on your cake, you just, I did just, I place a little bit of buttercream and then it just sticks very, very nicely in there. And then you can literally do like so many different colors. So I did blue, white, I even did one yellow. So yeah, and then you can mix it up with like normal wafer paper or rice paper also for a different effect. And it's a really, really cool like addition to your cake, especially if you're going with a modern cake or a modern twist. And that was it for that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.